Hello everyone, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make health bars for your sprites. So we have this red health bar here above our boss, and when I shoot it, its health goes down with a sort of nice smooth effect. And then when the health bar gets to zero, the boss dies. So to make this, uh, for a start, all I've got is I've got a sprite, he can move and he can shoot. Um, this is just so you can copy the code here, but there's also tutorials on that channel for this sort of thing. So have a look around for those. And this is the projectile code, nice and simple. And I've got a boss spawning with this code here. Um, so the first step you to set Byron is to go down here to extensions and scroll down until you find status bar. Click that to import it. And you get this new sort of tray of code here. It just gives you a lot more options. If we scroll down to enemy, what I'm going to do is add an our status bar here with our boss. So the boss gets created here and I'm connecting the status bar to it down here. So I'm first going to set a status bar and set the kind from health to enemy health. Then back into status bars. And I'll use attach status bar to put it sort of above our boss's head up here. So attach status bar to my boss. There we are. Now it's up there, but it looks kind of small. So what we can do here is change this value here, the width, to make it sort of more appropriate for our boss. It can seem a bit scary. There we go. And you'll notice it is sort of touching his head quite closely. So if we click on this plus here, we can add what's called padding, which gives it a little bit of space between the head and the status bar there. Yeah, looks much better. Now we can customize it by going back into status bars and getting this set status bar fill, which changes the color. So because it's an enemy, I might have mine red with a black background. Here we go. Um, we're going to have one more block in here, which is this set status bar smooth transition to on. And what this does is gives us the nice sort of smooth draining effect, which looks quite nice. Um, and to change the color of the draining effect, click on this plus, and you can change it. I have mine as yellow. There we are. So we now have our status bar on our boss, but we can't shoot him yet. So the way to do that is to go into sprites, scroll down until you find this overlap block. And we want it for when a sprite of kind projectile is a sprite of kind enemy. So when our projectiles hit the enemy, we want to, oh, first, we want to destroy Sprite, because Sprite is the projectile. We want to destroy the projectile. And we want to get change status bar value. Um, so uh, this total status bar value is 100. So if I want to kill my boss in 5 hits, I'll do minus 20 because 20 times 5 is 100, so. so this is the percentage you want it to go down by each time. And we'll go into status bars again, and then sprite that status bar is attached to. Oh, sorry, back into status bars. We want status bar attached to my sprite, so this one here. With our status bar is kind of enemy health, so we change this here. And then we drag other sprite in where it says my sprite. And our last step is so we can now shoot down our boss and he loses his health. Um, but when he gets to zero, it does nothing, which is not what we want. So if you go to status bars and scroll down again, we find this status on status bar kind health zero. 
so uh, we had uh, maybe our satisfier is an enemy health. So it's when an enemy health satisfier goes to zero, we want to sprites destroy and then status bars sprite that status bar is attached to and then we can end the effect here with this plus so I might go for fire and with just this little bit of code here we've done it so if we open this up we can shoot down our boss and he loses his health and once he gets all the way to zero he dies in the end so i'll just zoom this out a bit so you can see all the code at the end here there's all the code we added and here's all the initial code because he wanted to copy that down So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. See you.